Alright, hello everyone and welcome back to Cutabo Space Program, where today we are having a look at yet another wonderful mod, this time in the form of SM Shoot, which is being made by forum user Spanner Monkey. And what this glorious little piece of work looks to add into the game is EVA parachutes for your Kerbals to use. And what particularly interested me about this mod is how it works, and that is through the Kerbal Inventory System, which is great because that means we can just chuck a couple of parachutes into a random storage container and then divvy them out amongst our Kerbals as the need arises, whether it be an emergency or just one of your Kerbals decides he wants to base jump that day. Either way, you're good to go. So let's just go right on into the VAB and have a look at the currently two parts that are actually added in by this mod. Now I probably should actually point out before we get started that this is still very much a work in progress mod. At the moment, two parachutes and Spanner Monkey is honestly wondering what else he could add, because he's not sure where to go from here because he set out to make parachutes and he's made parachutes, uh, but still work in progress, so who knows how it'll change in the future. So let us just grab a Mark II lander can, as since we have two parachutes, we'll need two Kerbals to actually test them on. Zoom in a bit, because of course, they're small, and then head to the EVA Items tab, which of course is added in by the Kerbal Inventory System, and in this we will find our two lovely Kerbashutes, as they're called in here. Uh, the first we'll look at is the Mark II Type I Kerbashute, which is sort of your standard round parachute. It works and functions and looks pretty much just like any other parachute in the game except for the colors are blue, white, and gray, rather than the typical orange and white, etc. And yeah, it functions just like a parachute. As you can see, if we right-click here, we can change the minimum pressure, altitude, etc., so that we can adjust these to whatever need we have for the current mission. And yeah, yeah, it's, it's, a, it's a parachute, pretty basic. Not exactly the most impressive of models. I do like the textures, especially the uh, typing he's got on each of them. But frankly, for the model, I don't really think it needs to be really anything spectacular, because, I mean, it's a parachute. You literally just strap this onto the back of a Kerbal and hope he doesn't die. That's its use and its purpose, so I can let uh, this sort of a blocky texture, or not texture, but a blocky model slide. Because, yeah. Does a parachute really need to be sexy? I mean, it, it could if you really wanted it to, but uh, we'll move on to the other parachute now, the Mark II Kerbachute, which as you can see here is a different green container. And this one is a bit more interesting than the Type 1, as it's, and rather than being a round parachute, it's a more modern rectangular parachute, which is quite cool, and something I would like to see Spanner Monkey delve into a bit more, because on this rectangular chute, unfortunately you can't really control it like you would a real world rectangular shoot you know those things can fly pretty darn well and control pretty amazingly this one not so much you can rotate in place but that's about it uh, I, I would love to see that developed a little bit more for like flight controls of that but oh well for the time being it functions perfectly well as just a parachute so let us actually chuck these into the seat inventories for our Kerbals and then go to the launch pad and see how they function, which I mean, they're parachutes, they're gonna function like a parachute just on your Kerbal rather than on a ship, but let's head out there nonetheless, and we'll get out Bill first because he does of course have the circular chute, so that's the most basic one, so let's get him out and away from the command pod momentarily. And how you activate these chutes and get them to work is you're going to right click on your Kerbal because, well, you need to get into your inventory here. And once there, you just need to right click on the parachute and equip it. And there we go. We have our parachute on our back. And here's my, my biggest complaint about this mod. It's not centered. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> it You have no idea how much it bothers me that it's slightly off-center. Oh god, I wish that could be fixed. Now, I don't know if that's something Spanner Monkey can fix or if that's just a function of how the Kerbal inventory system attaches stuff to the back of the Kerbals. But yeah, I would, I would love to see this nudged over ever so slightly so it was centered. But oh well, what are you going to do for now? And how this particular parachute works is when you're falling out of the sky, you can't unfortunately hit spacebar like you normally would. How you deploy it is you have to right click on the parachute itself, 
and then hit deploy. And that's it. That's all you gotta do. I wish you could use spacebar, but oh well, for the time being, just having to hit this button is perfectly acceptable, and of course you can mess around with this stuff as you normally can either way. So let us actually go and see it in action, so we use glorious hyper edit to get ourselves up into the air. Let's say about 250, I think that should be good, and away we go. And then turn off landing and begin falling from the heavens and deploy. There we are, we have deployed our parachute, our Kerbal is safe, and now gently floating back down to the planet on a kind of an eyeball looking thing with the blue and white coloring there. And yes, we have our lovely parachute. Now you'll notice our Kerbal is kind of in a T pose, which if we do turn on our, uh, you know, jetpack there, we can kind of rotate around, but that's really as much as we can do movement wise. And then we land and there we go. We've done all that that parachute can do. Now, sadly, I haven't figured out a way to pack these things again. As normally on a parachute, you could right click and repack it. And unfortunately, you don't seem to be able to do that. You can put it back into your inventory so you can just unequip it in there. Uh, but there's no other actions that we can take. I don't know if it's just something I'm missing. If any of you watching this know how to get this thing working again, please do tell me. But once it's used, it seems to be used. So it may just be a one shot, one go parachute shoot, which I'm still would be perfectly fine with because, hey, uh, you're ho hopefully you only need the parachute once. But there we are. We have uh, the lovely round parachute. So let's move Bill over to the side and get out Jebediah and take a look at our lovely rectangular shoot. Come on. There we go. Have him on EVA. Lovely. Walk away from the command pod. Go into the inventory once again. Equip our green parachute. Still slightly off kilter and annoying what little OCD I have. And then once more, we just need to go into the sky. Okay, so back to ship lander. I'm gonna right click there and hold. Cause one of the things I have found, if you're facing like this way on your Kerbals, sometimes when you try to click the parachute, it'll click him instead. And so we don't die. I'll just actually make sure we have our parachute thing already set to go. There we are, we are now 250 meters in the air. Well, actually, we're quite a bit more than 250. And let go and deploy our lovely rectangular parachute. And there we are. I love this parachute, it's great. Which sadly, even though I am trying to control it, we have no real control on this thing. Uh, the only thing we can do is spin it around with the uh, <laughs> RCS pack like you normally could. And that's really about it. But oh well, it's just a cool looking parachute. I quite like floating around with this thing. Who doesn't want a rectangular parachute? It's just, it's just fun. But yeah, that is, that is really it for this mod. <laughs> Not a whole lot to go through. It is parachute. You put it on, you fall, you deploy it, and you're good to go. So that is going to be it for this video. If you'd like to check out this mod for yourself, which I definitely would suggest you go and do because it is just entertaining, you can take a look at the link in the description as always. Uh, but yes, uh, that is going to be it for today. I hope you all have enjoyed, and of course, that you do come back for the next. But until that time, thank you for watching. And as always, have a good one.